Sorry guys, my, my batteries uh, went dead, so I had to change them. Alright, so I was saying that the, the friend whose name I send the money to, um, normally he either hand delivers the money to the friend, to the other friend, or he sends it through the bank. But this time, because my, my, you know, my other friend was, he was irresponsible with the money that I had been sending him, so I, I arranged for the friend whose name the money comes in, for him to handle the money from now on, meaning he must not send him the money directly through the bank or hand deliver it. No, he needs to handle the money and buy my other friend whatever he is needing at the end of each month. So um, as of last month, they have been, they've been, was it last month? I think it was as of last month because I just found out about the big mess up just recently. So last month, uh, my friend, the one whose name the money comes in, he went with the other friend who messed up to you know to do his grocery shopping. So I I told him to I, I told my friend whose that who's the one whose the money comes in, like the name that the money, whatever, you guys know what I'm trying to say, I'm stumbling over my words again, and you'll, you'll know why from watching my other videos, you'll know, you know why I stumble. So the friend who receives the money, he arranged for, um, for him to take the other guy shopping whenever he can, because the friend that receives the money, he's got like a crazy schedule, and he's doing, he's working really hard to, to get his life, um, together because he's also struggling but now now that he's got some funds coming in he wants to start a business also and so he's you know when you start a business your time is taken up with by um doing a lot of research as to what you need to do from a to z right so i told my friend since your life is really busy right now just arrange arrange a schedule that's easy for you and then take the other friend out to go do the shopping so you guys do your shopping every single month at the same time according to your schedule and so my, my friend said okay so um, today I received some other news that really disappointed me <laughs> because the friend whose name I send the money in sent me an email uh, telling me that the other friend contacted contacted them requesting that they raise the amount of money that they normally get f to like a higher amount and this really upset me because that is not was that that is not what um how how, how I arranged for the funds to be divided right so now my friend is asking my other friend whose name the money comes in to reduce what he's receiving in order to to get more, and that's not right, right? Every, everything is, I send whatever, um, whatever's necessary for both of them according to their needs and according to, like, because they are both helping other families, right? They're, they're both helping other families. And so, you know, there, there can't be unfairness when it comes to, you know, receiving help. So this really upset me, guys, this really upset me. And so anyway, so after my friend sent me this email, um, my friend was like, okay, so Nancy, so-and-so sent me an email requesting that I raise the amount of funds. And, but the thing is, can I please um, raise the amount of funds that he wants to receive every month now, next month, not this month. Can I just give him what he normally receives every month today, which was yesterday, and then the next, every single other month, can I send him the amount that he is requesting? So guys, after I read this, this really, really made me upset because I thought to myself that my friend had learned his lesson. So now my friend was sneaking behind my back, asking the, the person who's receiving his funding, his funds, to raise the amount of funds that he's, that, that he's supposed to be, like, to raise the amount of funds that he's getting without coming to me first. He's supposed to come to me. So I explained to my friend, I said, look, do not give him any more than what you are already giving him. What he is getting is enough for him and his family. What he is asking of you is, he's asking for you to be dishonest. 
because he expected for you to go ahead and honor his request without either of you telling me, and that's wrong. Now, I'm not holding you responsible. I'm, I'm very happy that you told me. Okay, so guys, the person whose name I send the money to, he is really, really responsible. He never, ever, ever mismanages the money. He always asks me, whenever anything comes up, whenever anything comes up that he needs, he says, Nancy, um, I can't use the money for this thing at this, this hour because something else came up. Can I use it for that? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. It's okay. Like every single time something comes up in his life, you know, he will always ask me. And the thing is, that's a very nice thing that, that people do who, who, are, who, who are getting help from you. Because even though legally, once you send money, the money is no longer yours. The money is legally, the, it belongs to the person whose name it was sent in. Legally, it's theirs. But because the people that are, you're helping want they, they want to show you that they respect you and they honor you and they're grateful for the help that you're sending them. They like to ask you for quote unquote permission to see, to, to see, you know, to ask or to see how can I spend this money? Is it okay for me to do this? Is it okay for me to spend it this way or that way? And that's very good because it shows you that these that the people that you're helping are really using the money for what it's intended for and at times they're going to need it to spend you know spend money on other things because you know guys in life things come up things come up like for example sometimes he gets sick so he needs to spend the money on medication he needs to go to the doctor um other times like recently one of his his elderly family members got really sick and it it was potentially very dangerous but they were because of his the money that he gets he was able to um pay for all of the medical everything that was all the costs that were associated with her medical treatment right like things like that he he doesn't need to tell me but because he's the kind of person that wants to honor and show respect to the person that is helping him then they like he likes to tell me. So this is the kind of thing that I like, right? It's nice when people do this. For me, it's not necessary. But because of his attitude and his, his, his conduct, he's showing me that he is truly respectful of the kind of help he's getting. And he's also honoring God. He's honoring God because God loves honest people. And also, hold on, <coughs> they, when people show you how honest they are, you will then recommend them to other people. If another, like, for example, if, if you come across somebody else who says, um, who, who says, I would like to help so-and-so also, is it okay? Do you mind if I start helping them too? I know you're helping them, but do you mind if I start help, helping them too? And then I will say, of course it's okay. Go right ahead. I'm not going to reduce what I'm, going to, I'm sending him, but, you know, go ahead and, and help this person with whatever you want. You see, this is how... People like my friend, this is how they attract um, other blessings and more blessings. This, this is how their life increases because of their honesty. But when people like my other friend, who was trying to manipulate how much money he was supposed to be receiving, then God is not going to allow others to come in and say, okay, I would like to help them too. He's not going to allow that because dishonesty hurts people it hurts it hurts the people that that they are 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 dealing with directly right so god will close the doors to people who are dishonest and god will open the doors to people who show and demonstrate how honest they are and even if they're not demonstrating how honest they are they could be doing they, they don't have to you don't you don't even have to know how honest they are but god knows he sees everything so he will send other people into their lives to bless them that's how he is. So guys, um, yeah, so, you know, finding out, after finding out w what my friend was trying to do by getting, you know, increasing his, the amount of funds that he's supposed to be receiving, it really, really made me upset. So I, like I said earlier, I told, I told my other friend, I said, do not raise the amount of funds that he's receiving because um, he knows full well that he sh he needed to come to me if he wanted something if he wanted an if he wanted an increase he needed to come to me 
He can't be sneaking around like that. Okay, that's another demonstration that he did not learn his lesson from what happened the first time. And he's continuing on in his dishonesty, which is, which is um, making things a lot worse for himself. So I told my friend, do, do, I told my friend, do not increase the amount he's receiving. Just continue giving him the, the, the set amount that, that you give him. Because guys, what I do is when I send the funds every month, I tell my friend, you know, you take your portion and then you give so-and-so the other, the other half or whatever, not half, but I just say, I just say, give, take your portion and then give, um, give so-and-so the other, you know, um, their portion because they, they both have a set amount. They both have a set amount that they receive. So I say, so I say, just you take yours and then you give to so-and-so what, what belongs to him. And that's how it's always been for years, right? Because I've been helping them for a few years, right? And so then after I told my friend not to raise the funds, he said, okay, I will do that. And I also had to, I also had to, um, like I, I called, I'm not, I didn't call. I sent, like right after I received that email of my friend telling me that the other person was asking for a raise, I, I contacted that person and I explained it to them. You know, I, I, I addressed the matter with them and I said, you weren't supposed to do that. You were, to come, you, you were supposed to come to me about it, not go to the person who's, who is now handling your money. You, you don't do that. I said, you are being, you are being very dishonest. Okay. And I said, it's like you never learned your lesson. And I, and I also, guys, I was very, very upset with him and I was strong and I really scolded him because it's wrong. How can you betray somebody who's helping you? You can't get from A to B through a crooked road. It, it doesn't work that way. You're, God is going to expose you. God always exposes corruption. He, he, he exposes dishonesty. So this is what happened to my friend. God exposed him the first time and now God exposed him the second time. And my friend keeps trying to do things in secret and he keeps getting discovered. Now, this is only, this is, this is only the second time that he's done this. In, in the years and years that I've known him, he's never done this before. It's just suddenly that he's become very desperate for things that he can't get right now, but he needs to prioritize what he needs right now versus what he can get later, and he doesn't want to do that. So now he's suffering for it. Okay? So, like I said, I was, like I said, I was very disappointed in my friend, and I, I was talking to him about it, and he has not had a chance to respond back to me yet. Um, he's... Because it's the, the time difference between here and now. Here, at, like I'm in Toronto, and over there in in Uganda, uh, at this hour at the, for this season, uh, daylight savings times, I think they are eight hours ahead of our capital Ottawa. So, but yeah, their Ottawa is about four hours away from Toronto. So, they are eight. Uganda's eight hours away from Toronto. I mean, eight hours ahead of Toronto. <laughs> So yeah, so when I contacted my friend, he was it's, it was most likely all, already evening. So that was today. Yeah, it was already evening, so most likely retired for the night. And um so yes, and and so I'm just still waiting for my friend's response. Guys, I really gave it to him because I told him the first time when he messed up, please be honest. Now start living the right way. You, you got yourself, you, you managed to get yourself into trouble. You managed to get yourself out of trouble. Only by the grace of God, you managed to get yourself out of trouble. Now continue on the right path. And here we go again. Only one month after he got himself out of a huge mess, he's in another one. You know, and I had to threaten him. I had to threaten him and tell him, I said, you know, if you continue this way, the help is going to stop. And the thing is, you're not going to want the help to stop because there are some elderly people that you're taking care of. Now, of course, guys, I wouldn't do that. I just said that to scare him. I just said that to scare him, you know, because you, you cannot punish somebody, right? Like, you, you can't punish other people because of what somebody did. I would never do that. But I have to admit that I was very, very tempted. I was very tempted to end the help. But because there are other people that need the help, I won't do it. 
but it's it's very disappointing when you you are helping somebody and then they betray you in this fashion and it's like you like what do you do what do you do in order to make sure that they listen and i have an answer the answer is because they are they they are responsible for helping other people the answer is to simply continue um, sending them their funds, um, but making sure that they don't handle, they don't handle any money. It's just the person who's receiving the money. They're the ones that are going to be handling the funds, whomever it is. Like if you're in a situation where you're helping somebody and then you find out that they mess up because of some stupid decisions, just start sending the money through another person. Cancel. Like if you're sending money directly to them, Start sending the money through somebody else that you really, really trust. And then have that person manage all of their finances, no matter what. Have that person manage all of their finances. Arrange, arrange, arrange it like so that you can pay their rent or pay their utilities or pay. Only you do it. Because if you continue helping them by allowing them, like, like if you continue sending them the money directly in their name, they're going to continue mis mishandling the money and mismanaging and being dishonest with you. And it'll never stop. And, and then the abuses will continue. And then one day they're going to start asking you for more. Then you, you end up giving them more. And you, you, you're just going to be like a, an automatic bank machine for them. Where at this point, they no longer respect you because they see that you you are not aware of how much they are using you so that's why you have to use you use wisdom and get start sending the funds you're, you're helping them with start sending the funds through somebody else that you trust so that they will learn their lesson about you know about not not betraying your your, your trust and your your you know your help and your goodness and your compassion because you don't have to do it. There are many other people who need the help. You don't have to help them. You know? So, yeah, so that that's that's what I decided to do. I decided to just, you know, just make arrangements with the friend whose name the money comes in and I I said, "Look, you know, just please make sure because of this latest crazy stuff <laughs> that my friend's done, just do not, do not, um, don't let him handle his money. You handle his money. You handle his finances. You pay for whatever he needs to, whatever he needs. Okay, what, whatever he needs at the end of the month, you, whenever you guys get your money, take him out uh, shopping and you make sure that you schedule it so, so that it's on a day where you can go out based on your schedule. Okay, you take him out shopping. Both of you guys do your your shopping on the same day you get your stuff done on the same day and and um so that you don't have a problem with whatever scheduling you have based on what you're doing in your life so so that's what i told my friend and yeah i'm just i was just guys i was really 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 upset really really upset because enough is enough and for, like I said, if for, for you guys who are helping people and you find out that your friends were mismanaging the money, so then you have to use your wisdom to see how you are going to continue helping them only without also allowing them to handle their funds. Like I said, find somebody, find someone that you can, that you can trust, that you can send the money to, and then they can start making whatever payments that the person you're helping needs to make. Their food and rent and utilities and stuff like that because everything can be arranged. Everything, all the payments that your friends or your family members or relatives are needing, all of that can be arranged. All of that can be arranged in some way. And and if you're having difficulty making arrangements and making certain payments, you have to find a way. You have to find a way. Or maybe you can also, um, as a, as a way to keep them, like, okay, for example, say there's no way, say that the person that you're helping is in a country or in, or in an area of your country where there is no way for you to, to 
um, send the money directly to their landlord or the or the utility companies like if you, if you if you have if you are in that situation i think tough love is called for in this situation if you are if you cannot if you do not have direct access to the the, the people that they need to make payments to like the rent and the utilities and who knows what else like that has to do with their living then tough love you have to reduce the amount of money that you're sending them so that now they're what they're only receiving is money to buy food and perhaps to pay their phone bill and then they have to see how they can do about paying the rest because if you are going to give them everything and and above that they're going to continue to abuse you and they will not learn they're just going to um, look at you like a clown because they can see that you are helping them so much and money is just falling and coming down from heaven into their arms and into their hands and they're living the life because your money's coming in and they are looking at you like a stupid clown so you need to you know think about how you're going to continue helping them when you're dealing with somebody who doesn't respect you anymore because of the help that you were giving them. And who knows, it's possible that they never respected you and you just found out that they've been only using you and mismanaging the money in some way. Whatever the case, whatever the case, you have to make a decision as to how you are now going to help them. You either cut yourself off from them completely or you reduce the money you're sending them but in a big way. And that's going to force them. It's going to force them to make um, decisions for themselves in order for them to be able to replace the money that you are no longer sending them. They're going to have to make, probably find a job or something because that's the only way you make money, right? You find a job. So, yeah. And back to my friend. <laughs> I was just very shocked because it's it's not be it's not a behavior that he has ever showed. He's never been this way. He's never been this way. He was never like this. It's just suddenly he's just acting all just erratic. He's 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 been he has been acting erratic, making really crazy decisions and it's like he's been running around all over the place trying to figure out how he's going to go about getting certain things for himself running around like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to figure out how he's going to get certain things that he wants in his life now, but which he cannot have yet. It's going to take time. So he's doing all kinds of things to try and manipulate situations to get there faster. You know, and you, you, it doesn't work that way. You, you cannot, you cannot uh, try and acquire things through dishonesty you know you just you can't you can't I was just thinking to myself um, I can't imagine I cannot imagine like you know for example uh, gi giving like okay for example I was just thinking earlier if I was sending my friend a certain amount that would that, that is a lot more than what he's getting now, I probably would have fainted. I probably would have fainted from finding out what he's been doing with the money. Because if, he's, if he was going crazy with the money, of, you know, as of a few months ago, and, <laughs> and, and then asking, you know, and, and then going crazy with it continuously as of, I guess, yesterday when they received some funds, I would have probably fainted because he would continue to mismanage the money and not do with it what he's supposed to do. And I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. Of course, I have forgiveness in my heart. And to me, it feels like there was never anything to forgive. I, there was never anything to forgive because that's how I live my life. I walk around in the literal form of the forgiveness that God is made up of. This is the heart that he gave me. 
He created in me a radical heart of forgiveness. He gave me his heart of forgiveness. That's why it's not a problem for me when somebody hurts me or somebody does something against me that hurts me or whatever. It doesn't hurt me. I mean, it doesn't, um, like forgiveness is not an issue for me or, or like trying to forgive. No, it's just automatic. It's, forgiveness is there long before any offenses take place. But it doesn't mean that I, I still don't get upset when things happen. You can get upset. It doesn't mean that you are holding on to unforgiveness. Being upset is a natural emotion that comes from something that happens to you. right? You, you get upset. But then um, you get over it. right? So, yeah. So I, I was very upset and disappointed with my friend. And like I said earlier, I really... I scolded my friend. I scolded my friend because if you... You know, you, I cannot be soft with him. I can't be soft with him. Because if you're going to be soft with somebody who blatantly did something that was not supposed to be, they were not supposed to be doing, and they, and they knew, they knew how they were supposed to be behaving. If you're going to be soft with them, they're not going to take you seriously. And so we, we you know, when we're dealing with people who, who betray because that's what my friend did. He he betrayed me and I'm very shocked because it's not behavior that I have ever seen in him in all the years that I've known him. He has never behaved this way. So in one of my videos I did mention that sometimes when our, our friends they just become their 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 attitudes change for whatever is going on. Not that it's an excuse, but their attitudes I hear a knocking coming from the ceiling. Can you guys hear that? Their attitudes change. That's annoying. Their attitudes change and for whatever the reason and not that it's an excuse, but you know, it's I'm getting I'm getting very distracted because all that knocking up there. Maybe they're working on the ceiling. Hold on. Mande? Oh, okay. I think they're working upstairs. But I don't know. Anyway, guys, it's 27 minutes, so I hope my camera doesn't... Well, it's supposed to shut off in 30 minutes, because that's as long as my camera records, only every 30 minutes. So, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I forget what I was saying, but I think I was saying that it's... When friends disappoint you, it's it's very... When fr See, I'm distracted now. When friends disappoint you and, and you're helping them, and you just have to make the decisions, the right decisions, so that they... They don't continue, you don't allow them to continue to use you. Okay, and yeah, I think I'm finished. I think, I think I'm finished. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. My photo's at the bottom on the right, and below, like, click on that photo, and then you'll subscribe to my channel. And before, I mean, below the video, you'll see it says subscribe, and then you will see the bell next to it. So click on the bell so that every time, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I forget what I was saying earlier. But you guys get the point. And, <laughs> yeah, I will give you guys uh, another update. And I know that God, like I've been praying for my friend, so I know that God will, will help my friend to get mature about his decision so that he doesn't continue to mess up and delay where God wants to take him. Because that's what he's doing. He's delaying where God wants to take him. He thinks that by being dishonest, taking the dishonest route is going to take him there much faster. But yeah, like I think I, I was saying that I scolded my friend. Oh, it's 20, 29 minutes. I scolded my friend and that's the right thing to do. Okay, guys, God bless you. Hasta luego. Los quiero a todo mundo. God bless you. Ciao, ciao. Bye. God bless you.